Welcome to this presentation of ACE Project, our web-based project management application. This will be a two-part presentation. In the first portion of the video, I will show you how the interface of ACE Project is designed so that you may easily find your way around. In the second portion of the video, I will show you how to perform the basics in ACE, in ACE Project, and by that I mean how to create users in the account, how to create projects and assign those projects, how to create tasks in your projects and assign them to your users, and finally how to co collaborate efficiently with ACE Project on your tasks. So let's begin by logging in as Jane in the demo account. Jane is an account administrator, therefore she has access to all the functionalities in the demo account. Now, the ACE project uh, interface is designed, uh, if essentially navigation is, is, goes through tabs, and the tabs I'm alluding to are the ones that you see here in the top frame, and there is also a, an admin section that you may reach if you are an administrator uh, that you may reach using this link here in the top right hand corner of the screen. Uh, the three tabs you see here are project tabs, you may close out projects using these, uh, these X's, and you may also add other project tabs by, for instance, selecting a project in this dropdown. Um, the two other tabs are the My Office tab, which all users will have, and the Portfolio tab. So let's begin with the My Office tab. Uh, as you see, when you select the My Office tab, the left menu has changed. Essentially, under the My Office uh, tab, you'll have a very specific menu, uh, and the menu will change whether you're on the My Office tab uh, uh, under a Project tab, the Portfolio tab, or in the Admin section. The My Office section or the My Office uh, area of the interface is essentially the End Users workspace. As you may see, the default page that appears is the dashboard which allows the user to have access to all assigned tasks, tasks that the user is reviewer on, overdue and soon due tasks, or tasks that, must, uh, that will start soon. You also have, uh, for instance, a section where you may access your weekly timesheets. As you may see here, you have a list of weekly timesheets, which you can add time to by opening, simply by clicking on the global approval status. Uh, you may generate personal time reports. You can law, uh, no, clock in and clock out of tasks using our clock, uh, time clock feature. You also have a personal mailbox th uh, through which you can communicate with other account users. Your preferences allow you, for instance, to change your personal password, and there are also a few other items that you can you know, change for yourself. Uh, there's a notepad and a user directory. But essentially, the My Office uh, area of the interface is the end user's workspace. Uh, the second tab I'd like to show you would be the project tab. So let's, for instance, click on uh, this project tab. Uh, the project tab indicates the project's name. So in this case, we are currently viewing incomplete tasks in the software development project. Uh, now, when you're on the uh, active when you're on the project tab, uh, you know, you'll see in the left menu items that are associated you know, specifically to the chosen project. So you may see, for instance, all incomplete tasks, all completed tasks in that project. You can see Gantt charts, uh, calendars. Uh, the calendars are you know, task calendars, which will indicate when a task begins or ends, as you may see here from the legend here at the bottom. You can also generate, uh, you know, ACE Project has some built-in task reports uh, that you may use. For instance, the non-assigned task report would in indicate all tasks that have not yet been assigned in the uh, selected project. Uh, you do have also you know, the ability to run time reports specifically on the, you know, the current project. You have a time approval area which allows you know, users who have that right on the project to approve time submitted against the project. You have a discussion forum, which is a communication area uh, where you, know, you may uh, 
you know, for instance, record information uh, which all of your users on the project might need at some point in time. Under the configuration item, you have the edit project page, which is the general information page for the project, uh, indicating, amongst other things, the project number, which is actually an alphanumeric field, as you may see, the project name, uh, the description, uh, and, and so on and so forth. You also have the assignment page, which will list all users currently assigned to that project, as well as their project level rights on the project. Task groups, types, statuses, and priorities may be defined. So you might already have some, some values uh, for your task groups, types, statuses, and priorities, but you can change them by clicking on an existing name, or you can add other task groups at will. The same idea holds for you know, the three other items that you see here. So essentially, the project tab, uh, under the project tab, you have the ability to see all the information regarding that specific project. The portfolio tab is a cross-project reporting area. Uh, as you may see, uh, the, you know, the default page that will appear when you click on the portfolio tab will be a, a project report or a project list. Um, whenever you have project lists or uh, task lists in ACE project, you will always have a show hide columns uh, feature which will, will allow you to select the fields that you want to see displayed from left to right. And you may also define your sorting order, in this case, you know, in which order you want to see your projects appear. Uh, so the portfolio is the cross-project reporting area. Uh, under the projects item in the left menu, you may see you know, project Gantt charts. You also have a tasks item under which you can see task Gantt charts across all projects you have access to. A, a calendar, once again, ACE project calendars are task calendars showing when a task begins or ends. You have the same built-in uh, task reports that you had under the project tab. Once again, these allow you to, you know, to locate tasks across all projects you have access to. And you also have the ability to create your own custom task reports under the portfolio tab. The user workload report, uh, there are two views, will indicate uh, you know, hourly uh, allocation of work to each of your users with, if you choose the by project view, with a per project you know, breakdown. If you specify at the user level that a typical workday uh, is eight hours of work per day, then the user workload report will uh, highlight over allocation using red numbers. So that's essentially what you'll find under the portfolio tab, a cross project reporting area. Finally, you have the admin area of the interface. Once again, that's reserved for administrators. The default page that will appear will be the, the user list. Uh, you can, as an administrator, create users. You can delete users. You can edit user profiles. You can set up user groups, time types, expense types, and so on and so forth. You can also create a client list. Uh, administrative tools allow you to export any data, uh, project structure, task information, timesheet data, and user data, either to Excel format or CSV formats. ACE project has an import, er, import area where you may import task information and user information, in both cases, from a CSV source file. Uh, you also have an area where you may see d deleted documents in the last 30 days, and you may also see deleted projects in order to delete projects, uh, you know, the, 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 it's a two-step process, so uh, this is to avoid uh, having projects uh, deleted inadvertently. Finally, the account info area will allow you to see uh, general you know, account settings. Uh, for instance, uh, you have you know, your week management, uh, your time zone preferences, uh, your, whether or not you want to, uh, you know, to show cost tracking functionalities in ACE project, the currency you, want, you wish to use for 
uh, for all dollar amounts or for all um, you know, cost or expense amounts. You also have a branding area which will, amongst other things, allow you to upload your corporate logo and change the skin colors. You have themes that you may choose from or you can create your own custom uh, you know, colors. Uh, you have an account status area which shows you know, the current package you are subscribed to uh, as well as the number of active users, incomplete projects and incomplete tasks currently used and the numbers remaining. You may also upgrade or downgrade your package from this screen. So that is basically the way ACE, project, uh, ACE Project's interface is set up. 